today uh, at sundown we'll be observing Day of Atonement. <clears throat> First time this doing it this way at the Anna Scott Family Resort. Mm. Zooming in there. Uh, I say it's 2011 Powell Street. I mean, excuse me, 2011 Allen Street. Let's go in here and see some of the things that I've set up. Got the cross right there, obviously. 14 foot cross. That stays there. Some of the stuff is temporary. Like I said, next year I'm gonna try and be more biblically correct with setting this stuff up by putting like the big uh, burnt altar. They burnt all sacrifices on first, but a little water basin labor right here is in front. Then we have the incense altar right there. The showbread table and the candles, golden candle holders. And inside the veil, that represents the Holy of Holies. Got the replica ark in there. And we do have incense burner out of the incense holder here. I don't know if you can see that smoke or not. So like I said, inside there is a replica of the Ark of the Covenant. So uh, this is the first time in 2020, being the beginning of another decade, um, we've ever, I've ever, I had a replica Ark of the Covenant in Columbus, Ohio that I did once, but I've never done everything else. And this is everything else, life size, life size, everything else. The table could probably use some longer legs, but for the most part, that's the way it is. And the incense altar is a little big, but the candle has seven, not nine. You gotta study for yourself to understand the significance of the nine or the seven candles. And back there is the big, I'll go back there so you can see it. Got the altar where we're gonna be burning the um, prayer request that came in, that's what I let to do. So next year I'm gonna try and put that politically correct where, biblically correct where it's supposed to go. We'll be burning the prayer request in. It's at the altar. The Ark of the Covenant is in there. I keep calling it the wrong name. Fast will start today at sundown and go until tom tomorrow sundown. So it's 24 hour um, observance of Day of Atonement. Um, fast and prayer. We have people uh, participating all the way over in, in Africa. We have some people who offered their prayer request and want to be a part of what's going on. And it's all biblical, you know. People can observe the feast any way they see fit. Um, at the very least, I would say I would probably would fast and pray during this time if I wasn't doing anything else, but seeing as how we got property and I had some materials and things were donated, I decided to build some, um, some, um, life-size uh, temple furnishings. And I've seen I've seen neighbors and everybody's asking questions and wondering, what is that and what is that for? I get an opportunity to witness and share with them the faith. Show them in the Bible where these things were in the Bible and how they were used and how they represent Jesus Christ, most of all. So it's just another way to uniquely witness the gospel of Jesus Christ. And then obviously, like I said, up front we got the 14-foot cross that stays there. These things, these items will probably be put up or put away or just put somewhere. But for the most part, it's an opportunity to share people this time of the season and the year where we honor God with our life, our time, and our efforts. In our ministry, we teach the three T's, tithe, time, and talent. You know, we give our tithe. We offer God our talent. We must definitely give him our time. So it took some time to build these things and do these things, and it was a pleasure to be able to offer those things back to God, which he has given to me. So God bless you. I pray this little uh, example of how we observe Day of Atonement. It's only 24 hours, 
it took me more than 24 hours to build this stuff, but uh, it's an honor and a pleasure to be able to do stuff. Like I said, I got neighbors around who sees, and they wonder what it is and why it is, and I get a chance to share the faith. And um, we don't do any pagan or secular uh, observances whatsoever, no holidays whatsoever. I do honor people on the day they was born. You know, I, that's just me giving them a little something. But for the most part, we do things that honor God and honor Jesus Christ. And that, and that includes we do not observe December 25th as anything either. It's just another day on the calendar for us. And that's just us. We follow the Bible as close as humanly possible, doing anything and everything that we believe God has called and created us to do. So as far as me and my house, we will serve the Lord. God bless you. If you ever want to get in contact with my ministry, feel free to call us at 614-847-2057, 614-723-9770, or by way of the internet at www.teamjesususa.com. God bless you.